Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a classic beauty makeup tutorial and I thought that classic beauty was something very simple, very timeless and also something that was wearable so I thought I would incorporate this nude lip and then I did a very 60s eye look. I was inspired by a lot of pictures I saw on Pinterest and I thought that it was a beautiful look and I thought it would be very wearable for most of you guys that would like to recreate it. So if you want to know how to get this classic beauty look, please keep watching and I will show you how. So first we're going to be priming with this Becca Backlit Priming Perfector and I absolutely love this primer because it is super luminous and dewy. It goes really great with this classic beauty look. It also goes great with the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation that I will be using. This is a great drugstore foundation because it has a lot of luminosity to it. It's super hydrating if you do have dry skin and it has a lot of full coverage to it. I noticed that you really don't need a lot. To get a full coverage effect, I like to dab this out with a beauty blender and I'm using this dry. Next I'm going to be concealing with this L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer and I'm using this in the shade Light. I'm just applying this underneath my eyes with my ring finger and I like to do a little reverse contouring with this concealer. I'm just bringing it up on the bridges of my nose and then I'm going to be blending this out with a beauty blender and I'm not going to be using it damp, I'm just going to be using it dry to keep the pigment in because I just really like the way this works. Next I'm going to be setting all of that with my MAC Emphasize Powder and I'm using this on the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour and Highlight Brush. And next I'm going to set the rest of my face with this Airspun Loose Face Powder from CVS. And then I'm going to start bronzing. I'm going to be using my Hourglass Luminous Light Bronzer and then I'm going to be applying it with my Morphe M527 brush. This is a great bronzer brush. I'm just applying a nice warm halo to my face. And then I like to go in with my Kat Von D contour kit and I'm using the middle warm shade in the palette. And I'm applying this with a Walmart smooth coverage brush. I just like to go in and add a deeper contrast to that bronzer after I'm done bronzing. So that's what I'm doing now. So I'm just deepening up my cheekbones and bringing it down towards my mouth very slightly. Next I'm going to add some blush and I'm using my NARS Orgasm Blush. I love this blush. It is actually a really popular blush by NARS that everybody really loves, but I think it definitely is worth the hype. It has a lot of sheen to it, so it gives a nice sheen to your cheeks and a luminous effect. Next I'm going to be going in with this JD Glow Cosmetics Highlight Palette. I'm using the cream shade first and this is in Marilyn Monroe. I'm applying this to my cheekbones and then I'm going in with my Morphe 501 brush and I'm using the powder formula of Marilyn Monroe and applying that next. If you add a cream base before you apply your highlight, it really gives it a lot more pigment and it just stands out so much more so definitely try that if you're into highlighters or a more dewy look. I really love this highlighter so so much. Next I'm going to be combing out my brows and I'm filling in them in with my Anastasia Brow Duo in medium brown. This is just a powder formula and I'm using a posh smudge brush to fill in my brows. Next I'm just going to be setting them with a clear brow gel. And after that I will be priming my lids with my Kat Von D High Voltage Primer and then I'm going to go into the color Skimp from the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay Palette and I'm using this on a Sigma E57 and I'm applying this color to my brow bone. With that same brush I'm going to be using the shade Blonde from the palette and I'm applying this to my lid. I think this is such a beautiful blonde shade. I think it's really clever that Gwen Stefani thought of this as blonde. Definitely looks like a platinum blonde to me and it goes really well with this highlight look and also just overall with this classic beauty look. It's so beautiful. Next I'm going to go in with a Sigma E44 brush and the color Anthem and I'm applying this to my upper crease. This is a really cool toned crease color so you don't really have to use this palette to achieve this look if you have a nice taupey color you can apply this to your upper crease. Just make sure you keep it nice and high and don't drag it down. Just keep it up there and keep applying more product as you go along just little by little to build up that nice contrast. Next 
Next, I'm going to be going into the color Sirius, which is like a grayish, taupey black color. And I'm using this on an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. This is just one of the brushes that comes in the palette. And I'm just using this to deepen up that crease even more. Next, I'm going to take the shade Ariel from the JD Glow palette, and I'm using this on the Sigma E57, and I'm applying this to my inner tear duct, and next I'm going to be winging out my eyeliner. I wanted to make this very vintage looking, very 60s looking wing, so I'm using my Kat Von D tattoo liner, and I'm keeping the wing more so on the outer portion of my eye. I'm not making it thicker in the inner corner, just keeping it nice and thick on the outside and bringing it in. Next, I'm going to take the color Anthem on this Bare Minerals Precision Eye Brush, and I'm just going to smudge that on my lower lash line. And next, I'm going to go in with a Revlon angled brush, and I'm going to take the color Sirius and Blackout, and I'm going to tight line my lower lash line for a more 60s, 70s feel. Next, I'm going to line my waterline with my Tarte Inner Rim Liner. You can use any vanilla liner. You can even use white. And this is going to give a nice classic effect on your lower waterline. Next, I'm just going to be using my mascara, and this is CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara, which is an awesome drugstore mascara. Next, I'm going to be taking the color Sirius on the Anastasia Double Ended Brush, and I'm just applying this to the crease again. I just wanted to deepen up the look. You can also add a bit of black to deepen up the look. I'm just going little by little with this color and adding it to the outer portion of my eye and bringing it inward. I'm also going to take the color blonde on that Sigma E57 and add more of this to the center of my lid to give it that extra pop and gleam. Next, I'm going to apply Coco Lashes in the style Bella. And these are very dark and wispy on the edges, so it's going to give that nice vintage effect. Next, I'm going to add some mascara to my lower lashes to finish off the look. Next, I'm going to be overlining my lips a little bit, and I'm using ColourPop Libby Pencil in Razor. Next, I'm going to be filling in the rest of my lips with Anastasia Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick. And I really love these liquid lipsticks because the formula is not drying at all. They're actually a bit hydrating at first, and they stay on super long, and I absolutely love this shade. Alright guys, that is it for this classic beauty look. If you enjoyed this video, please like. If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe. And if you have any more ideas for my next tutorial, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching.